Hey loves, so Jay here with your monthly reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I have done a pre-shuffle for you with Oracle cards. We'll hop into your tarot, clarify each of those, but first we are going to start with your spiritual insights. Thank you all so much for tuning in, whether you are old or new here. I do appreciate your presence, okay? Scorpio, what I'm feeling for you, I'm hearing, I'm hearing the word damage that's coming up for you, and it makes me think, like, are you doing damage? Is the damage done? Like, what's going What's going on? What is it that you're going through right now? Okay, because that word is very prominent in, in your reading and spirit is saying damage. So I don't know if some of you are feeling damaged. You have, you know, something's going on here. Okay, <laughs> some of you need to get outdoors uh, more often and connect with uh, nature, specifically trees for some of you. Because I'm feeling some of you are lacking oxygen, like shortness of breath or something. So you can even go um, a step further and add plant life into your living and workspaces to help you um, with your oxygen levels if you are having trouble breathing or if you're finding that your breath is very shallow, okay? Which as humans, we do have a very shallow breath just because the um, amount of environmental toxins, the stress that we're under we do tend to breathe shallow, okay? And it's just a natural thing that we're not always aware of. So this would be a good opportunity for some of you to really engage yourself in breathing techniques as well, as well okay? I'm seeing the color blue for you, which is connected to the throat chakra. It could even be connected to the third eye because the third eye is the color indigo. But I feel like you need to express yourself in some way. I hear that something happened between you and someone and I... And I feel like you're feeling bad, Scorpio, and, and this this may not resonate with everyone out there, but I do feel this energy of um, sad or there's something, you know, there's a like a gloomy feeling that some of you are feeling right now. Um, and then I hear you saying, I need to silence myself. So not sure what's going on here, but let's see if we can get some clarity in your reading. But it does feel like someone may be on a timeout, whether you're on a timeout from someone or someone's on a timeout from you. OK, so let's pull your universal message, which is which says, be true to yourself, Scorpio. And this card reads, you may not ever understand what's going on in their life, but you can always figure out what's going on in yours. OK, so that is that speaks very true to the energy that I'm feeling and that spirit is channeling through me is to be true to yourself. You know what's going on in yours. You don't necessarily know what's going on in their life. So this is um, this is a note for you to, to take in this moment. OK, because it's easy as humans, it's easy for us to take things personally as if we are, you know, doing something to people. But it's you know, it's it's usually has nothing to do with us in general. OK. Um, an angel number that I, we chose is 0110. So if you're seeing this number, this is a confirmation, validation for you. This is about your belief systems. This is saying to go after what it is that you want, you want, okay? Whether that is that job or it is a person or making more money or going on adventures, vacations. Go after what you want, Scorpio. You have a very unique destiny. You, you can be inspired by the smallest things for some of you. You have a lot of talents and gifts and appreciation and gratitude. So make sure that you're staying in gratitude during this time frame as well. It's very important, especially if you're seeing like 110 on the clock often. Know that your, your angels are saying that you're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Okay, so keep that in mind. Embrace what makes you different. Um, that's your path to, to uh, success. Your dreams will soon be coming true, okay? And I love that energy for you. So um, some of you probably do need to take a time out in order to get in that, that space of your belief systems. And keep in mind that beliefs are thoughts that turn into habits, that those habits turn into patterns. So keep in mind that belief system, that those thoughts that you have been, that you have created and it has just become a habit or a pattern. And some of those are need, some of those need to be broken because it is outdated at this time. So think about the things, the story or the narrative that you're telling yourself and that how you can change that around. OK, so that you can also feel the vibration of the new energy that you're speaking. OK, it's a whole process. But it is very important in order for you to manifest because I do feel um, a breakthrough coming for some of you and some of you have been destroyed in some sort of way. And I do feel like whatever you have been through Scorpio is it has helped you get to this place where you are. OK, it wasn't for nothing. 
this is what spirits is saying it wasn't for nothing so if it felt challenging you felt destroyed all of these things these horrible things that have happened to you um ask yourself the question if it has awakened you okay the romance angels are helping you as well okay for some of you this is re in regards to a relationship that um, we're referring to when it comes to being true to yourself and taking a time out and all of these things and that relationship could just be with yourself as well spirit is also saying that conclusions are within reach okay conclusions are within reach and the energy is gaining momentum and i wanted to pull a divine timing card on this on these two cards and to see when when things when are things coming to a conclusion and it says time is still unknown obsessing over timing creates blocks so very interesting that these tied into this when i pull the messages okay so no need for you to focus on time at this moment okay it is just you have to endure whatever process this may be for you um, so that you can over overcome whatever you need to overcome. And again, like I said, there is a shift. There's a change that's happening um, based off of things that you have just recently experienced, okay? Or just have experience in life in general, okay? So let's get your, let's get your tarot out most highest messages for Scorpio know that we seek the truth even if the truth is outside of their current parag paradigm and this is for the highest all of those that are involved here that card that wanted to flip out is the seven of swords um, reverse I'm not going to take it and put it back in the deck but this is about getting caught up this could be slander just revelations that you may be having um, you may need to be alert um, alerted about something or there's some sort of alert that that is coming up for some of you or um you some of you could be deceiving yourselves or others okay messages for scorpio please okay we have the devil very interesting Capricorn energy here we have the nine of wands the moon coming out reverse I'm sorry that devil was also reversed we have the Queen of Pentacles we have the star interesting we already have uh, three major arcanas the seven of Pentacles so we have that number seven and then we had um, that seven of uh, swords that wanted to creep out earlier as well and then we have the four of cups all right all right let's let's get into this here Scorpio so we have one two three okay three major arcanas out of eight cards here so So th this definitely makes me feel some of you are in this position of trying to be true to yourself. So you're letting go of things and people that no longer serve a purpose in your life. And I feel like there's, there's I don't know, connection. There's a disconnect. There's something that's going on that is leaving you in this position where you're feeling like, I can't do this anymore. I'm exhausted. I don't have it in me to to go through this, to experience this. And some of you may have experienced a level of confusion some of you have been confused by some people's behaviors and their actions some even their words which is very interesting and which is part of the reason why some of you are taking a step to move away from something or someone and that energy of feeling destroyed has come through so I don't know if this is in regards to some sort of relationship and bond that you had with someone that has been severed because it feels very intense with the devil and the moon here and the stars also they're all coming in reverse so these are energies that you are feeling okay you're feeling a sense of defeat and detachment you're feeling you could be feeling uncertain you could be feeling you know judged okay in some sort of way there there just could be negative energy and sabotage that is coming up for you as well based off of what you may have just gone through or based on the energy that you're currently in okay with someone okay and this could just be this could show up as family members friends 
a career, but it feels more like a relationship. I feel like the job, if it is a job, I feel like it could be replaced if you had to leave a job or you've been fired or laid off in some sort of way. But I definitely feel like that could be replaced, but it feels like it, you're going through an, an, the emotions of something, of releasing someone, letting someone go, or someone walking away from you. And there are a lot of emotions that are coming up because it feels like you invested a lot of time and energy into something with someone. I feel like you build a lot. So you built a lot together. And to see that all fall apart is def definitely devastating. But I do feel like an energy of like an, a spark that is definitely going to be coming up for you. That spirit is going to be offering you. Okay. Because some of you have been feeling discontent. You've been disappointed in people. You've been disappointed with your life in general. And there is, I feel like, like I said, there's going to be a shift. This is why Spirit is asking you to be true to yourself. Okay. So most recently here, we have this devil energy coming out for you reversed, where this is a feeling where you may have been feeling detached from people, from situations, um, dis detached from yourself as well which is very common, right? Especially if you're going through a phase where you're shedding and you're growing the dark night of the soul. It definitely feels like you have been in this place of feeling detached probably from your spiritual body, but that in turn disconnected you from your relationships because you're growing, okay? Although it feels like a time of um, darkness, this is a time where you are releasing, releasing the things that are old habits, outdated um, addictions and sabotage and violence, whatever this is, whatever vibration, okay, lower frequency that you have been operating in, I feel like you're now at a point, you've gotten to a point where you're just like, I can't do this anymore. This doesn't sit well with me. It's not me. Okay, so it feels very unhealthy for some of you. So most recently, you have been in this place of realizing that some of your, un your toxic traits are from people you've dealt with, okay, that, that attachment, that bond that you have with them. Some of you are doing things just because it's your, what your partner did or it's what your friends are doing. And, and although I know you, Scorpio, to be a very strong, powerful person, I do feel some of you have been misled or peer pressured in some sort of way, which is, has put you in this devil position of realizing now that that's not me, okay? So that's what that feels with the devil here reversed. I'm going to clarify these cards as well. Then your overall energy, we have the nine of wands energy. So this is a feeling of some of you are feeling defeated. What I'm feeling for you coming up this month, it's that it's a culmination of the things that have been that have been progressing in your life. They're reaching ahead and it's, it's this it's puts you in a position of just feeling tired. I'm, a, I'm also feeling anxiety that may be coming up for some of you as well. There is a level of conflict, and this could be conflict within yourself or more conflict that is happening in your environment. I'm hearing I'm divided, okay? So you're feeling divided. I'm feeling some of you are feeling alone in situations. Um, you're going to be feeling alone in situations. You feel like you're on this journey by yourself. You're never alone. You always have divine beings watching over you, but I completely understand what you mean as a human where you feel that you're isolated from people because things have transpired in your life to help you grow. And so those things have to fall away in order for you to get to this next phase in your life. And it feels lonely when you're climbing to the top. It feels lonely when you're going through this awakening phase. Okay. It feels exhausting for some of you. Okay. And it feels like it's, you have to sort of you know, dot your I's and cross your T's, like everything, everything means something, okay? So some of you may find yourself feeling guarded, uh, feeling overprotective of your energy and your space, and I 100% agree with that. Um, I, I feel because you are a water sign, you are very empathetic, and so you feel a lot of things, so you want to be very um, cautious about who's in your space, in your home, who you're hanging out with because it feels like some of you may have a tendency to pick up on other people and mirror and match that energy and don't know how to let that go. 
okay so I feel like it just becomes a behavioral thing for you and you don't know how to release it so that's going to be important for you during this month is to learn how to protect your energy and also if something comes into your energetic field you need you have to learn how to release it this is why spirit is asking you to get in nature because nature is our biggest cleanser and so dealing and connecting with trees okay is very very powerful for you during this time I'm even feeling some of you getting near water so going to the beach the lake but something that is cleansing okay take um, intentional baths whatever you need to do but most importantly getting outdoors and taking care of yourself okay obstacle challenge that could come up for you during this time we have the moon that is coming up for you reversed so some of you could feel confused about what the next step is going to be on your journey and that's completely normal because it feels like things are shifting. Things are doing a 180 for you because you're coming into your essence, your truth. And it feels uncomfortable and things are going to fall away because it does not belong in your space anymore. Okay. It was there temporarily as a placeholder, right? This is your story. So for some of you, it's going to seem devastating to the psyche, to your spirit, as you continue to shed things and people moving forward on this journey, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, some of you could be experiencing more deception that could be coming up for you in your life, okay? And I know some of you don't want to hear that, but I feel like you're going to be at a place of understanding that that needs to end. Some of you have been stuck in these patterns. Remember those beliefs that those thoughts that become beliefs, the beliefs become habits and the habits become patterns. I feel like some of you have been stuck in that cycle and now are in a place of realizing some of the things that you have been holding on to. And instead of withdrawing, you're let, letting it go. You're releasing. Okay. You're taking a risk because that risk means losing people that you love dearly. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you, you don't ever have to speak to people ever again, those people that you're letting go of. It just means that they can't come with you on this next phase of the journey. Okay. Where you're headed is the Queen of Pentacles is coming up. So this lets me know that you are determined to pour into yourself. You're determined to move forward. You're, continue, you're continuing to grow spiritually, financially, emotionally, like all across the board. That that's important to you is to have your independence um, and have um, good, just good energy in your space, good business models, good friendships good food <laughs> as well, but good rela relationships overall, okay? So you're going to be in the place where you're going to allow yourself to open up again, Scorpio, because some of you are feeling closed off in this moment, but you're going to get to a place where you're going to allow yourself to open up. You're going to allow yourself to feel abundant. So those are things that some of you are going to be manifesting during this time because you have already been going through this isolation period where you have been shedding. And so now this is a time, it kind of reminds me of Pisces energy. I'm Pisces sun and I'm, I am a Scorpio ascendant. So I can 100% understand what, what's happening here. Scorpio is now, you know, you've come out of this phase where, you know, you're trying to come out of this darkness because you see the light that is shining within you now and you want to allow people into your space again. But it, there's still there's still a level of distrust. There's still a level of uneasiness. There's a level of you being overprotective of your space and your energy because the people that have been closest to you have done something wrong to you. OK, and although they've done something wrong to you, it was for you. OK, so we look at it from that perspective in order for you to move on. You have to understand that the universe is operating in a way in your favor. OK, so I feel like you guys are going to be coming into a wealth of knowledge, information, money for some of you as well. But it, overall, it feels like a very abundant energy. OK, it feels like the universe is going to be giving back to you, which I love that energy. What's, what's coming towards you is the star, the star reversed. So some of you can have still negativity spewed at you in some sort of way, okay? <laughs> and know that this is, uh, it's, it may not be a favorable outcome for you, but know that the, the momentum, like we said earlier, the energy is gaining momentum and conclusions are within reach for you, whatever those conclusions are, whatever you decide how to, you know, whatever you decide how to handle or however you 
however you handle whatever is coming towards you, it is definitely going to be coming to an end. Make sure you're not in a position where being you're being too pessimistic or negative. Okay, so allow yourself to be in this dreamy state. Okay, of manifesting the things that are most important to you. It kind of reminds me of a. I had a really crazy dream about a fire, and the fire. It was actually in the. I go to Maui every year. It's where I got married. And, you know, it was kind of devastating to hear about the fires in Lahaina. But I actually took a journey in my dreams last night to Lahaina during the fire. And I was in the fire and, you know, trying to escape it. And I, and I was able to escape it um, and just catch the smoke. OK, I wasn't actually in the fire. It was just I did a lot of running and, and there was a lot of questioning I was doing. Like, what am I running from? What is it? This seems scary. What am I scared of? And then it came into that I was in and out of that dream and also thinking about a new car. My lease is almost up on my car. And I'm thinking like I've been in this position of, you know, there are times, Scorpio, what I'm saying is some of you have been playing it small just because there has been this level of darkness that have come over you. OK, so I had to pull myself out of the fire and the scariness and it pull myself into this place of showing my light of knowing that this is all this human experience is just a part of the story and it really isn't it doesn't define us it's really just a story it's a it's a video game and so how do we have a better outcome okay so it's literally pulling yourself out of something negative and really thinking about the positive, but really feeling the vibration behind the pop, the words that you're speaking or the thoughts that you're, you're, you're thinking. Okay. So it, it's, a, it's a task to do and it's something to remember because it's hard. It's easy to just go into a downward spiral when you are thinking negative negatively, you just sort of think about all of the negative things. So you have to remember during this time to pull yourself out of it. So when that negativity begins to come towards you, just sort of like the smoke from the fires coming towards me, I literally became conscious again and pulled myself out of that dark energy. Okay, so think about it from that perspective. As the smoke is coming towards you, how do you remove yourself from that? Because it feels overwhelming. You feel like you can't breathe, which is why the shortness of breath is coming up for some of you. You have to find ways to get through it. OK, you have to shield yourself. You have to protect yourself. And, and that's from the uh, that's from the external world. OK, what is going on in your internal world is something that you have to focus on. What's happening in your near future here, Scorpio, is the seven of Pentacles. So this definitely lets me know that. You guys have been investing a lot of time and energy and maybe even money into something, but I feel like it was it's to take care of yourself. I feel like it's to better your life. You've been planning something. Some of you have also just been throwing yourself into something so that you can not feel some of the things that you've been through, but that's, no. <laughs> you can't escape that much longer. You're going to have to really sit and be and feel all of the things that you have gone through experience and figure out how you can transpire. Okay. I mean, how you can um, transition into something positive. As I'm looking at all of the things that have grown in your life, there is this, this pinnacle here, which is the ace of pinnacles. So this makes me feel like you're building something. Some of you are physically building something and some of you are rebuilding something. But this is also your internal foundation as well that some of you may be rebuilding. OK, so there's a lot of things that you've experienced that got you to this ace of pentacles. So it feels like, you you know, you've done all of the things. Some of you are in a spiritual state because the number seven is connected to spirituality as well. It because we have to go through personal challenges in order to have a realization that we're going through something that we get that feeling of I'm feeling depressed right now. When you're feeling depressed, it's you're going through an awakening phase because your spirit is stopping you in your tracks and saying something's not right. Now it's manifesting in your body. It's manifesting in your thoughts. Something isn't right. Something needs to change. So there's a lot of personal challenge that comes with the number seven. There's a lot of things that may have been hidden that may need to maybe 
may need to be said or let go of, but it's been a test for some of you. And I do feel like um, it's hidden wisdom, okay? And I feel like things are coming to the surface for you now, and this is an opportunity for you to create something new in your life. Your advice for the month is the Page of Swords, all right? So I, I feel this Page of Swords, um, I'm feeling like you're embodying this energy here of this wittiness, this cleverness. You're being a little bit more assertive in your journey, okay? Some of you are are, are curious about something, okay? And, and that's totally fine. Whatever it is that you're curious about and if it's on your spirit, spirit is saying to explore it. That's what I'm feeling, to explore it. There's a, an energy, a, a level of an energy that is coming towards you during this month that some of you have been lacking or you haven't seen because maybe, you know, that depression kicked in, that dark phase, that isolation where you probably felt like you didn't want to do anything, you didn't want to talk to anyone. So there's a level of energy that is coming for you where you're going to be more talkative, you're going to be more explorative, you're going to be out and about being a little bit more social and having a good time. That is the most important for you is having a good time and, and talking about some of the things. You never know how your story can impact someone else's, how your story can help someone else. The final outcome is the Four of Cups. Okay, so some of you may still feel like you're not in the position where you're at your happiest, but be gentle with yourself is what Spirit is saying. Baby steps. This is not going to all transpire right now. Remember, obsessing over timing creates blocks. Okay, that is very true because the universe knows no time, but it's always on time. Time is still unknown. Okay, and time is still unknown to the human race. At the end of the day, we are the time is man-made in, in the human race. But in the universal essence of time, there is no time, okay? So this is a time for you to um, have some introspection or to really connect. This reminds me of when I say getting out in nature, he's sitting under a tree. So I feel like this is where some of your answers are going to come. The number four is about creating a foundation as well, okay? So you guys may be experienced when you look at... Um, in Roman numerals, right, two and two, it's like 11-11 walking through a portal. So it definitely feels like some of you are going to be experiencing a new level of spirituality, a new mo a level of emotional balance, stability, maturity, independence. Um, so there's a, there's a level of all of that that's coming up for you. So stability is most important for you during this time. And I, I do feel like you guys are going to be exploring that as well. Okay. I want to clarify this devil reversed. Oh, that's too many cards. I'm going to take this page of a page of wands. Okay. That page of wands wanted to come out. So in clarifying this devil reversed here, Definitely feel like you guys have been um, recognizing some patterns that you have um, been living by and you're trying to remove yourself from whatever what no longer serves you for sure. But I definitely feel like you're moving on from some of the things that you've been holding on to, some of the people that you've been holding on to, because I'm feeling a level of heartbreak that is, has come up for you most recently here, Scorpio. So it definitely feels like you're moving on from that. Some of you are physically moving or you're emotionally moving away from this energy, okay? Because it feels like you're growing. And I do feel like there is a, like a spark of energy that some of you may have just experienced with whatever. Somebody may have been holding you back in some sort of way because the devil is a shackle, in, right? So it definitely feels like um, you're releasing yourselves from the cage, okay, and it feels like you're free. The page of wands is all about freedom and adventure. Um, also about energy, when I think of the wands, they're very fiery energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. So I feel like you are in, um, embodying that energy of exploring different aspects of yourself. And even just some of you may even decide to go trekking, just go on adventures, do some things that you've never really done before, okay? Let's see, I want to clarify it's the moon reversed we have the five of um the five of cups that's coming up so um some of you are 
Some of you are confused, have been confused about what happened in relationships, a relationship or multiple relationships for some of you. And I'm hearing spirit saying not to dwell, okay? Because the, I definitely feel a level of despair and disappointment that has come, in, come up for you. And I feel like you may be focusing on the wrong things and it's time for you to move on from whatever emotion or people that you have been sort of holding on to. This will be a good time for you as well, Scorpio, to do like cord cutting meditations as well so that you're just sort of letting go, okay? Letting go of who or what ever this is and just moving on from it honestly because I definitely feel like it's not serving you in any way okay and that's that's definitely a challenge for some of you is to let go of things because you are a water sign like I say you're empathetic you're a feeler and you're a lover as well so it's hard when you know people do you wrong and you're and you don't have you don't understand what you've done okay some of you don't even understand what you've done to someone and things have just kind of you know fall into pieces I'm going to clarify the star here in reverse. I guess I'm just clarifying the major arcanas because those are the bigger changes that are happening in your life, okay? We have the eight of pentacles and we also have the nine of cups. So I love how it goes from the eight to the nine, okay? And this is in your, um, what's coming towards you um, position, okay? So let's see. So whatever is some, something that you've been working on, working at, you've been putting a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into, you've been mastering something, okay? I feel like it's definitely going to pay off for you with the Nine of Cups where you're going to feel fulfilled. You're going to feel like, okay, I am where I need to be. Now, we did pull the, that Page of Swords and the Four of Cups here at the, the as the advice in the final outcome, what, mainly the Four of Cups in the final outcome, where some of you, I feel like this is energy where you feel a little bit of disappointment come up. Because some of you may have wanted someone that you have been investing time and energy into. You have you wanted them to be a part of whatever you are creating. But this is a process of you letting go. You're shedding right now, Scorpio. And I know it's tough for some of you because some of you are, are releasing um, loved ones that have been around, friendships that you have um, cherished for years, decades. It doesn't matter. Letting go of that feels very odd for you and it feels abnormal that you would think that someone was going to always be in your life and things have changed for some of you. Um, there's going to, you're going to have moments still. So keep that in mind. You're still going to have moments of not feeling 100% happy or still feeling disappointed about the, the outcome of what has happened. Some of you are going to feel self-pity as well. You're going to feel a level of rejection. Um, you're going to want to seclude yourself again, but I feel like now is the time for you when those feelings come up to make sure that you're getting out. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Meditation is key. Sitting under a tree, connecting with nature, getting by water, whatever this is, because you're going to be fulfilled. But again, you're still, you're human. You're going to have those lingering feelings of missing someone and wanting someone to be a part of whatever it is that you are creating here. Okay. So that is your reading, Scorpio, because I can continue on and on with this. But I just wanted to clarify a few cards as I start. I'm like I saw if I clarify all of these cards, this video is going to be like an hour long. So we don't want that here. <laughs> but definitely there's going to there's a shift that is happening for you guys. And I do feel like um, the most important thing here, Scorpio, is to be true to yourself. You don't know what other people are going through but you know what you're going through. So that's the most important thing here, okay, is breaking some of the belief systems that you have and not obsessing over time and know that conclusions are within reach, okay? So that is your reading, Scorpio. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if this resonates with you and comment below if you want to share anything with us here today. Thank you again so much for tuning in. Share with your family and your friends. Be sure to subscribe and hit that uh, all notification bell so that you know or the personalized notification bell so you know when I'm dropping another video for all of you Scorpio. Again, take care. Enjoy the month. Many blessings and love and light to you guys. Peace.